We are here with the 2017 Impreza Premium Trim. This model starts at $22,000 and the one we're driving today includes a $1,400 eyesight package. So our model here is right about 23 and a half. The 2017 Subaru Impreza rides on the new Subaru Global Platform, which is set to underpin almost all future Subarus. The new platform is longer and wider, but maintains about the same weight as outgoing models, with this premium trim sedan coming in at around 3,073 pounds. The styling goes a bit more mainstream, but still features some unique Subaru touches, such as the Hawkeye headlights. The interior will feel familiar to current Subaru owners, but it does feature many changes. The instrument cluster in this premium model features monochromatic gauges, with a small LCD display in the middle. All models get Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as standard, and this premium model features the base 6.5 inch LCD unit. The new steering wheel is connected to an electric power assisted rack and pinion, which now features a quicker 13 to 1 ratio, which is similar to the ratio you might find in the BRZ. The interior of this premium model is mostly black with some fake carbon fiber accents and beige colored upper trim and headliner. The seats are well bolstered and feature soft fabric. The rear of the roof features a more coupe-like line but rear, rear seat space is maintained and should be comfortable for most. The seat belt buckle design now features a locking pin which helps to tighten the belt when needed along with pre-tensioners in both directions. The trunk is spacious without too much intrusion from the rear suspension. In order to increase visibility, the third brake light has been moved from the package tray to the top of the rear window. The 2 liter FA20B engine features the addition of direct injection and gains a modest amount of power over the outgoing motor. It has dual AVCS and makes 152 horsepower at 6,000 RPM and 145 pound-feet of torque at 4,000 RPM. It runs on regular 87 octane. The engine is backed by either a 5-speed manual or the CVT transmission that is featured on this premium model. All but the base model get paddle shifters and a manual mode with 7 simulator ratios. The base model is equipped with 16 by 6.5 steel wheels while this premium model runs aluminum versions in the same size. Under the car we can see some of the chassis improvements, including the new brace which connects the engine subframe to the front corner of the chassis. This premium tester was equipped with Continental Pro Contact TX tires in a 205-55 R16 size. The brakes maintain a 10.9 inch size on the front for most models, while the sport model gets upgraded 11.6 inch units. The cabin feels spacious and airy due to the small touches such as the thin eight pillars and continued use of the front quarter window. Back seat room is plentiful and there is a decent amount of legroom even for someone with a six foot two inch frame like me.